I know this is a sensitive topic, but it needs to be discussed, and that is, should Trump call the National Guard? I would say, yes, he should. Does he need to? Well, he didn't need to. I mean, our left-wing governors and mayors could have told the police force to do their job instead of lying and defending the riots, but guess what? They did that, and now we're where we are. Uh, New York's finest could have dealt with this. They've proven time and time and again they could do with this. Tons of competent riot police, highly trained, could have put this down. But they haven't because, you know, our politicians have, of course, defended this wrongly again. So that leaves us where we are now. Should Trump call in the National Guard? Well, the first question we should have asked is should the governors of. Now, the governors shouldn't have called the National Guard, they should have told the police to do their job instead of lying, but they lied and didn't tell the police to do what they should have done. Trump has actually offered them to use the National Guard, which they say that, I guess the National Guard isn't fit for this, you know, riot control, you know, because they're soldiers, which I can say that is actually a valid argument. I would say that they are trained to kill people and fight in combat, not to deal with the riots. However, they also do get their own riot training. Military police is a thing. They have their own training to deal with these sort of situations. And they do it much more drastically than the police, and they have much more permission to do things than the police. Now, as we've seen before, you know, the left loves to take videos of police out of context, and now they're actually voting to defund the police. Which, I mean, Let's be real here, the second they do that, all, they know people are going to come to the streets with guns and shoot them all, and they're going to shoot back, and America's just going to fall into chaos, but that's kind of what they want, so that's off the table. However, some governors have actually fallen to this and actually took money out of the police, which, guess what, those are the cities that are in flames with people dying. Isn't that ironic? <clears throat> those same governors that are having their cities be burned are the ones actually pushing for this, which is absolutely no coincidence whatsoever <clears throat> it was at the point when their police failed because of them that they should have accepted the national guard but they didn't so now it has left the trump to clean their mess and the media hates it when trump does the right thing and cleans up their mess you know they hated him when the cia forced him to go in the bunker which as i'm sure anyone with the brain knows the president is going to make the decision. That is the CIA decision. Just like after 9-11, how they actually had to grab our president by the legs and arms and carry him into the bunker. They had to force Trump to go in the bunker. The president doesn't get a say. And then they call him stuff like Bunker Boy and stuff like that. So Trump actually came out and did something. And then they whined about him doing something. Because, you know, they just hate Trump. They don't have any logic in their heads. And it's kind of sad. But anyways, what he did was actually right. He called out and said, the protesters are good, we need the protest, it sends a message. The riots and looting is bad, and which just makes sense, people are dying, it is ruining communities. I see tons of white rich people arguing with me in comments, you know. Oh, well this helps the black community. I'm a minority, I have friends who are minorities, we've all had our lives ruined by this. This doesn't help anyone, this doesn't help them. Actually, it does help them, it doesn't help us. You see, the same liberals who are, you know, whining for anyone rich, you know, to tear, hand over their money and everyone needs to live in poor and poverty like they do, are the same people who are rich. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Now, at this point, I would say Trump is almost going to have to use the National Guard, and the media, of course, is going to try to paint him as a dictator, which is just absolutely false. The president cleaning up your mess isn't him being a dictator. Him using military force isn't being a dictator because they are government and they are police military units. The only reason that he's having to use them is because our left-wing governors have failed so badly to protect the law-abiding, tax-paying citizens that we actually have to step in now and do something about it. But, of course, they don't see it that way. They just try to protect it as, like, you know, a takeover. Because, that's, you know, that's all they can do. All they can do is say Trump. No logic, everything just out the window. So now we come to the conclusion, should Trump use the National Guard? Since our mayors are willing to let this run rampant in the streets and defund the police, yes. Trump should push the National Guard forward. Trump should have the National Guard unite with the police units and tell the police to actually do their job versus our liberal mayors telling them not to do their job. This would be over within a day. All the protesters can go back to spreading their message peacefully. The, the left tries to say this is the First Amendment right, you know? Yeah, your First Amendment right says you can go out with free speech and protest. Your, whatever isn't in the First Amendment right, though, is, you know, you can't kill people, you can't loot businesses, you can't rob stores, you can't run over police, you 
can't chuck Molotov cocktails at innocent people. You can't beat store owners for defending their stores in the streets. You can't burn my friend's car. You can't burn down my mom's business, which is helping minority orphans. You can't do those things. Those things are illegal. Those things are not within your First Amendment right. Those things are acts of terror, and they are not in your rights. Now, what would happen if Trump was to use the National Guard? Well, it would be significantly more effective since, you know, if Trump was to do that, the militarized units would obey the law and they can't be bullied by the governors into submission. They can't be told by the governors to, to not do their jobs. They are militarized units and they will get the job done. And the actual good protesters, the good people, the people trying to like, spread a positive message about this can go about doing their thing peacefully. And the rioters and evil looters will be put down and everyone's problems are solved. The left still doesn't see it that way, though, because, you know, they love anarchy and all that. The main thing you see without the movement is, you know, oh, police are constantly shooting black people as genocide. I'm guessing anyone with their brain has obviously looked at the statistics. Only 10 unarmed black people have actually died in the United States to police brutality like that. You know, getting shot. And 6 of the 10 black people were running from the police and hitting other people. And the remaining 4, 2 of them actually tried to kill the police, so it was fully justified. But that's not what the media says, because, you know, it doesn't fit their agenda and all that, you know. Because to them, your vote is worth more than your life. They are fine with the people you care about dying in the streets as long as you vote for them. You know, they don't care. Bernie Sanders, you know, their employers, Democrat leaders are failing. And you see the liberals actually trying to paint this as a failure on Trump. When George Floyd died in a liberal city governed by a liberal mayor and a liberal governor that has been liberal for the past 50 years and they still blame Trump. Wanna why? Because they have no sense. They don't get logic. You can't explain logic to these people. They just don't understand. They don't get it. Do I support the protests? Fully. I fully support the protests. Do I support the riots and looting? No. They have made everyone's lives miserable, including mine, including people I know, including my friends. It has ruined people's lives and people are dying and the left still defends it. Is it wrong? Yes. The National Guard would solve this. As we saw, the National Guard joining with the police was very effective in DC. The riots are almost all but gone and the peaceful protesters are allowed to do their thing and spread their message in DC. Everyone gets what they want. But the left still fights for the riots. The left still fights for violence. Because they don't care. They really don't care about your life. They care about your vote. They don't care about the color of your skin. They care about your vote. They will use your race against you. Want to know the number one thing that the left and the KKK have in common? They say that what justifies anything. They say that the value of your as like I'm human the value of you being a human is determined by your skin color both left and the KKK both agree that what's funny is the right hates the KKK and the right hates racists the left endorses racists and tries to portray everyone else as racist to get their way which as anyone can tell it's obviously not true people say Trump was a more divisive president now I voted for Obama and I voted for Trump even I know, as a minority, that Obama was significantly more divisive than Trump. Significantly more. And anything that people, you know, blame Trump for that is divisive was usually put in act by the Obama administration. So should the National Guard be called in? Fully. Fully. The rioters and looters, should they be put down? Fully. Should the protesters be allowed to protest? 100% it is within their rights to protest and they deserve to protest should they riot and loot again nowhere in anyone's rights does it say you can do that nowhere but of course the left doesn't care about that they just wanted to fund the police and spread anarchy and kill innocent people for votes you know defund the police 22 yeah no it's not gonna happen sorry but good usually always is gonna prevail and no matter what lies they make up it is always gonna fall in favor of justice Thank goodness for that. Now, would the militarized units actually harm people, you know, like kill people? No. No. If they even do kill people, it's because the rioters and looters were about to kill them or someone else more innocent. Because, again, these are military, highly trained units. No injustice can be allowed in there. Okay? And if you're worried about the police, you know, being in justice, then how about you sign your kids up? How about you push your kids and we'll see how many, like, how many things change. 
This is TF2 Fan 1 exact shots logging off. Peace out.